Yeah, it finally appeared. After years of waiting, SpaceX has delighted fans with the latest render of the EVA spacesuit for Polaris Dawn. So what's special about it compared to the previous render? How will the EVA suit development technology in Polaris Dawn be applied to future missions? In December 2023, Polaris Dawn's commander fired the space community up with a little bit of sharing about new SpaceX EVA suits serving the Polaris Dawn program. According to Jared Isaacman tweet, the suit was in the evolution stage and its image would be released before the mission, but he did not know when. Polaris Dawn is a planned private human spaceflight mission operated by SpaceX on behalf of Shift 4 Payments CEO Jared Isaacman. The flight will be using a Crew Dragon capsule and is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program. It was initially scheduled for launch in early 2022, but the challenges in developing the EVA suit and modifications to the Crew Dragon slipped the flight to April 2024, nearly a year and a half behind the original plan. However, Jared Isaacman's sharing by then is simply the announcement about the suit development's progress. This turns out to be a good opportunity for the space community to show off its creativity to answer the question of what SpaceX's first EVA suit will actually look like. And boom! One month later, the most weighted render of the suit is released by SpaceX. Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk. So we've got to redesign the, the suit so that uh, you can actually move around in it and you don't just like, you know, pop out like... <laughs> At a glance, we can see there is not much difference between the IVA and EVA suits of SpaceX. It still appears to be a one-piece suit, featuring white tones and a simple streamlined design. Most notably, SpaceX still prioritizes astronaut comfort. Because if you just inflate the suit, you know, you just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those like uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. So it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit. Um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. And This is truly the game changer that helps modern spacesuits far beyond traditional spacesuits. Referring to NASA's traditional spacesuits, the general feeling astronauts might describe it as heavy, bulky, and quite warm. But the suit itself is not the only thing contributing to astronaut non-comfort. Yes, it's true. When in the inflated state, the suit looks like a balloon, it resists being deformed and wants to spring back to its original shape. Any movement you make is always working against the internal pressure of the suit. Over time, this becomes very tiring. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. With the development of the EVA suit, Elon Musk seems to want to expand the scope of application of the suit beyond the Polaris Dawn framework. To be honest, the first destination he aimed for was the moon. Back in August 2021, NASA's Inspector General indicated that delays in spacesuit development were contributing to making a 2024 astronaut moon landing under Artemis impossible. Not that enough. The suits would cost the budget a huge amount of money, up to $1 billion. Immediately, Elon Musk replied, SpaceX could do it if need be. At that time, astronauts on board the International Space Station used spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the Space Shuttle program. Those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. Because it is outdated, the space agency wants to find a replacement version through three different spacesuit programs starting in 2007. The spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. It might be the motivation for SpaceX to simplify its spacesuits. Afterward, although the contract to develop the Artemis spacesuit was awarded to Axiom Space, this could not let Elon Musk down. In fact, he continues silently his plans to create a type of spacesuit that is simple and lightweight but not less efficient. 
More notably, SpaceX's EVA suit promises to be even more state-of-the-art when able to withstand environments with high radiation levels. You know, the Van Allen belts where Dragon Crew capsule will reach in April exist on the border of Earth's magnetic field at an altitude of 700 kilometers above sea level. In the Van Allen belts, the average radiation dose rate for a satellite is about 50 sievert per year. If a human astronaut had the same shielding as a satellite and required one hour to travel through the Van Allen belts for one hour of exposure in the spacecraft, this equals a total dose of six millisi everts. Meanwhile, on the moon, astronauts in a spacesuit would be exposed to much lower, around 0.06 millisieverts of radiation every hour. Surprisingly, because Mars has a thin protective atmosphere that the Moon does not have, astronauts would receive a lower average radiation dose of about 0.7 millisieverts per day. Based on the above calculation, we can see clearly Musk's timeless vision in developing the EVA suit. Under Polaris Dawn, the crew will conduct some scientific research, one of which involves a better understanding of how space radiation affects human biological systems. The gathered data will be the premise for a scalable design for spacesuits on future long-duration missions, such as building a base on the Moon and a city on Mars. To put it simply, if SpaceX's suit can endure a dangerous place like Van Allen, then radiation on the Moon or Mars won't be a problem for them. In addition, once the EVA suit becomes operational, it would also be very useful for astronomical missions, especially NASA's Hubble Telescope Rescue Mission, Maybe you know that on November 29th, NASA announced that their Hubble was in a safe mode again. Unlike the previous rescue missions, NASA this time hits the constraint in budget, so they have to call for help from private companies, specifically SpaceX. On September 22, 2022, an unfunded Space Act agreement was signed between NASA and SpaceX to investigate the viability of a SpaceX and Polaris program to push Hubble into a higher orbit. Jared Isaacman, Polaris Dawn's commander, suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. In detail, Isaacman pointed out that such a mission would give Hubble a decade of extra life and provide an opportunity in the future to remove the telescope from orbit using Starship and deliver it to Earth for placement in a museum. He also raised the possibility of repairing the telescope. This could require an intricate spacewalk similar to that performed by the Space Shuttle Rescue Mission known as STS-61 in 1993 to repair and restore the Hubble Space Telescope. Although Isaac Mann's idea met with quite a bit of controversy regarding the technical limitations of both Dragon and the suit, he at least offered NASA another solution to save their aging telescope. More importantly, the space agency may not pay any dollars for this. Heavy, bulky, and quite war. The suit itself is not the only thing contributing to astronaut non-comfort. This is the comment of a NASA astronaut about the orange pumpkin suit, officially known as the Advanced Crew Escape System, referred to as the ACES, a suit that he used to wear. Sadly, for a decade, space shuttle astronauts had to make friends with this pumpkin. And they also had to accept the reluctant truth that comfort was not a concern. The astronaut's survival was the most important. However, Everything has changed since this man appeared with his space suit. Functional, lightweight, and efficient are the words that describe SpaceX suits. More importantly, its birth marks the beginning of a new era of commercial area space, where aesthetics, comfort, and absolute safety intersect. This is how SpaceX reinvented space suits. While the extravehicular activities space suit is used for a spacewalk, referred to as the EVA. The intravehicular activity suit is dedicated to use inside the vehicle during launch and landing, referred to as the IVA, as well as during rendezvous and docking procedures. Its purpose is to provide astronauts with a bit more mobility inside the spacecraft, as well as to provide them with some protection in the event of an accident, such as depressurization of the spacecraft. In history, there have been a few traumatic accidents that have shown the importance of IVA suits and protecting lives. On the 29th of June 1971, 
just 30 minutes before landing. The descent vehicle so is 11 experienced the inadvertent operation or failure of a valve connecting the interior crew volume to the vacuum which resulted in the cabin being depressurized within 40 seconds. There was nothing the crew can do to stop it and they asphyxiated quickly. The crews just then wore no spacesuits. On the 31st of October 2014, Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 met the trouble regarding the aircraft's wings at 15.2 kilometers, which is 50,000 feet, over an 8 kilometers area, which is 5 miles. Just 13 seconds after being released from the launch vehicle, the cabin depressurized quickly, causing one pilot to lose consciousness and another pilot to die due to multiple blunt force traumas still retrained within his seat. Recognizing the importance of a protective suit inside the vehicle, the IVA suit is also designed as carefully as an EVA suit. Besides that, for modern spacesuits, a typical example is SpaceX's Dragon spacesuit. Not only in terms of safety, but the designer also focuses on aesthetics and comfort for the wearer. SpaceX's suit or Starman suit is designed to be functional, lightweight, and to offer protection from potential depressurization. Starman suit is a pleasant one-piece white style that is considerably slimmer the NASA's bulky orange pumpkin flight suit, also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. The suit is thinness is due to the use of new lightweight materials that gives greater protection in a lighter weight, more flexible design. The suit that work by using elastic tension to apply pressure to the body tend to have a common drawback. It is virtually impossible to keep the pressure uniform over the entire body, which means that you tend to get blood pulling in odd places, especially in the insides of joints. So, armpits and growing areas are likely to swell uncomfortably. This is where SpaceX excelled because each unit they make is completely custom made to properly fit an astronaut and make them feel more comfortable. But the benefits go much further than that. When it comes to creating spacesuits, one of the big challenges is making sure astronauts can move around comfortably. When the suit is all filled up with air, it becomes as stiff as a giant balloon. So when astronauts try to bend their arms or legs, it is like squishing that balloon and it pushes back really hard because the air inside the suit has nowhere to escape. It gets compressed when the joints bend, making it tough for astronauts to move. Over the years, SpaceX designers have come up with the clever solutions for this problem. SpaceX was heavily inspired by how a spider works with its legs. Spiders are hydraulic pressure to extend their limbs and the tensioners space X suits do something similar. Another way to make space suits more flexible is by reducing the amount of air inside, but that comes with its own sets of problems. Lowering the pressure inside the suit can help with mobility, but it also puts astronauts at a risk of decompression sickness. This happens when nitrogen in the body forms bubbles in the blood vessels due to the rapid change in pressure. To avoid this, Many space suits requires astronauts to breathe pure oxygen for several hours before wearing them. SpaceX wanted to simplify this process, so they had to find a balance between safety and mobility. They settled on a pressure level that met NASA's requirement to prevent decompression sickness, which is quite high compared to other suits. Now the cool part is that the air mixture inside SpaceX suits is customized with more oxygen than we breathe on Earth. Plus, it can be adjusted automatically by the suit's life support system. Managing this pressure is one of the things that makes SpaceX suits stands out. Another factor that contributes to the lightness of the suit is streamlining design. They combined all the valves and pipes into one spot on the suit. This spot connects to the astronaut seats where smart valves control air pressure. The suit stays cool with cold nitrox and sensors in the helmet send data to the spacecraft. This automation removed bulky external valves, making the suit lighter and easier to put on. While the space shuttle suits, the helmet, gloves, and the headset were all attached separately using bulky metal rings. On the SpaceX suit, the gloves and the helmet are already attached and the headset is integrated into the helmet. All that means that the astronauts can wear all these suits by themselves in just a few minutes. Next, before continuing. If you found this information useful, let's subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so we're always in tune with any of our upcoming SpaceX and World of Space videos. And now, let's go back to today's episode. With the success of the IVA suit, SpaceX is much more confident 
to push its capability even further. So now it is time to stay out of the capsule and into space. Next April, SpaceX will reveal its first EVA design under the Polaris Dawn program, a free-flying mission to LEO that will feature the first ever spacewalk by a private astronaut. The billionaire Jared Isaac Mann funds this mission. Hopefully, you remember this man who was inspiration for his sponsor. On September 2021, SpaceX set a record as the first space company to successfully conduct the world's first all-civilian mission to space, called Inspiration4. Inspiration's success is the foundation for the journey to the final frontier of Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft. That is to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown reaching out of the Van Allen radiation belt and exists on the border of Earth's magnetic field at an altitude of 700 kilometers or 435 miles above sea level. Both SpaceX and Jared have worked delicately to create EVA suits adapted to the high radiation levels in the Van Allen belt. This is very important because the radiation level that astronauts will be exposed to during the Van Allen belts over a few days is the equivalent of months on the ISS. This turned out to be a good opportunity for SpaceX to begin researching, developing, and testing its technology to adapt to environments with high radiation concentrations, paving the way for future colonization of Mars. On the other hand, this is also causing many difficulties. Both Jared and SpaceX are new to building and certifying new EVA suits, and there is a big difference. He wrote, Between the pressure suits worn by Crew Dragon astronauts and an EVA suit engineered from the start to be exposed to the vacuum outside the spaceship. Currently, the suit is still being developed and SpaceX engineers are doing an outstanding job tackling big problems very quickly, he said. Hopefully, soon, we will have the opportunity to admire this new EVA suit from SpaceX and see how it performs on the challenging Polaris Dawn mission. And that was a wrap for today's video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell so you never miss out on any of our upcoming important updates. My dear beloved audience, your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content almost every single day. Thank you and we're absolutely genuinely looking forward to see you in the next upcoming episodes. See you again.